Chapter 8. Iris tossed back her head and laughed. <laughs> You've been watching too much TV, she said. I don't know anything about souls. I'm trying to start a business here. If I got paid in souls, I'd starve to death. I stared at her blankly. I was so confused, I could hardly think straight. Carl leaned over and whispered, Wait, I think she's talking about money. Money? I cried. But I don't have any money. Iris rolled her eyes. She picked up the crow again. Just my luck, Maggie. I finally get a customer and she has no money. What are we going to do? She sighed. Well, I'll tell you what, Wade. I'll give you a free trial. Thank you, I cried. Iris nailed her eyes. Maybe later. I'll think of something you could do to repay me. Like what? I asked, feeling my throat tighten. She shook her head. Later. I'll think of something. She brushed her long black hair behind her shoulders. Do we have a deal? I swallowed hard. I, I guess so. Iris reached over and shook hands with me. Her long black fingernails scraped my palm. Her hand was soft and damp. So, revenge against your brother Micah, she said, shutting her eyes. Let me think. Aha! I have a very good idea. Just the thing. Moving her lips silently, she rubbed the crow's back once, twice, three times. Her eyes shot open. There, it is done. Huh? What did you do? I demanded. A lovely little revenge. Your brother will have a terrible accident and he'll never recover. No! I wail. No! No! Please! That's too much. That's not what I want. Take it back. Take it back. Sorry, Iris said coldly. It's too late. Chapter 9, next time.